Hey guys, today I am back in the park to do some metal detecting. I'm gonna be in the same area as last time. I'm gonna try and work more over there, I think. I kinda was uh, in this area before, so hopefully there's still some treasure here. We'll see what we can find. All right, so we got our first good signal right here. Nice high signal, consistent. We're gonna see what it is. All right, so it took three plugs, but it sounds like I got something down here. Is this, I found a white piece of something. Yeah, it looks like that was it. I don't really know what it is. Looks like just some, some junk of something. It looks like we still have something in this hole here. Ah, oh, there it is. The penny fell out. Um, 1980 penny. All right, I got another nice signal here. Saying it's pretty shallow. I'm gonna grab the pinpoint out and see if we can pick it off here. Oh. Oh, look at this. Got a surface penny. Or a surface dime. Bonus. Uh, let me see if I can find the date on that. Looks to be a 1980 dime. I haven't found a dime in a while, that's pretty nice. All right, I got another one. I'm kind of getting a mix of depths. Some are saying like one inch, some are saying five inches, but um, I'm gonna check over the surface here, see if there's anything. Otherwise I might dig a little bit and see if we can find it. Oh, well there's something here. Can't quite see it on the ground here. Ah, uh, there it is. Looks like it's probably going to be a bottle cap. Yep. Light. Alright, I'm getting a real nice signal here. Saying like 25 cents, 50 cents. It's saying like 3 inches. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. We got two quarters just laying on the ground here. They're definitely newer ones, so uh, someone recently dropped them, but um, that's probably the easiest 50 cents I've ever found. So um, I don't usually like to dig low signals, but because those two quarters were just there, right where those two were, I'm getting a low signal. I'm guessing it's probably going to be a pull tab, but we're going to go for it and see what we find. Well, I found something here. Is actually right on the surface, just some piece of a uh, wrapper or something. All right, looks like we uh, missed it in the first plug. I'm gonna try a little bit over here. All right, so it looks like we actually got in the second plug here. So let's see if we can get it out. There's definitely something in this piece here. Ah. Oh yeah, we got a coin. Oh, look at this. It actually wasn't a pull tab, it was a nickel. Guess I should be digging those up. Looks like we got a... ...1970 nickel. Pretty cool. I believe that means we have found every denomination today. That doesn't happen too often. All right, getting some nice signals here. Looks like it's probably going to be a penny, but let's see what we can get. All right, missed it in the first plug, but popping on a second plug here. Oh, I see something blue. Oh man, just some uh, little like wire scrap, warped. Nothing, nothing special there. All right, I'm getting another low signal. Um, I found the nickel last time, so I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to go for another one. Oh, found uh, the pull tab. And that is why 
I rarely dig the low signals because they're always pull tabs. But you do get nickel every now and then. So I've come over from the picnic area in this little uh, grove of trees here. I'm getting something that looks like it might be right on the surface here. I'll take the pinpointer and uh, see if there's anything down here. Hope. Oh. Alright, I got something here. Let's see if I can pop it up. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, something. Oh, it looks like it might be a can. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Look at that. That thing just mangled. Well, cleaning up the environment, I guess. Alright, I'm getting a pretty nice signal right here. Alright, looks like it might be a little bit more uh, on this side. There's just all dirt in here. Oh, got something here. <clears throat> ah, there it is. Oh, wow. The pennies actually uh, warped slightly. Or uh, what is this? Oh, no, I think it's a dime. Looks like we got a 1971. You can see how it's uh, a little bent out of shape there. That's pretty uh, crazy. All right, still in this little uh, grove of trees, that's where the dime just was. Just over from that, getting a couple signals here. This one looks like it might be right on the surface here. Oh. Alright, something in there. It looks large. I'm guessing it's going to be another can. Yep. Or the, uh, looks like the, oh yeah, it just crushed flat. Yep, getting another low signal. Feeling it may be a nickel, so I'm going to go for it. Oh. Alright, looks like we got something in the hole right away. Yep, looks like it was just this, another piece of uh, a soda can. Just finding little shards, it seems. All right, I'm hitting something pretty nice in here, I think. Really high signal. It's saying it's pretty deep, which leads me to believe it may be old, so this may be a good one here. All right, guys, so once again, like uh, the last metal detecting video, I think I found something quite large. It may be quite deep. I've had to plot, pop three plugs. There's one over there, two over there. But the hole's getting, um, I'd say it's about seven or eight inches down. I'm gonna pop one more plug out right here. Um, I'll show you what the metal detector is saying. So you can see it's right over the hole, but it's pinpointing it just at the north end here. So I'm gonna try to pop out one more and hopefully we'll find something. All right guys, so I have just unearthed some of it down here. You can see uh, there's a little silver something, which um, it's actually uh, um, quite shocking to me because usually when I find some stuff this deep, it's rusted over. So don't know what this is, but I'm, I'm pretty interested what's down. I'm gonna try and uncover a little bit more of it. All right, so I'm definitely getting onto something good here. Um, from what I can tell, I've uncovered a, a stick of it here. You can see it running along here. Um, I don't know what it is. It seems kind of skinny. I can get the shovel around it. And um, it's definitely moving a little bit, which is nice. So I'm going to see if I can um, maybe uncover the ends and pop up a little bit more here. I think we got it. There you go. Alright. Well, looks like 
It's some old, it's definitely an old piece of something. So there's the hole. Um, pretty big. I'd say it's a good, that was a good nine inches down. The metal detector actually read it accurately, I think. But um, I don't know what it is. It um, it looks like the sides fractured off here, but um, it's got some good weight to it. Not so bad as the last video where it took me probably 20 minutes, but this one was actually uh, an easier dig. I'll have to get washed off and see if we can identify it later, but it's pretty cool actually. Remember guys, always try to make the ground look nicer than when you left. Got quite a bit of dirt left over, so I'm gonna pick that up and maybe throw it in the bushes or something. All right guys, so I was getting a really solid signal. Ended up popping it in the plug. So we're gonna see what we can find here. Oh. Ah, there's some. Oh, we got two coins here. Looks like we got a, a dime and a penny right next to each other. So it turns out, I was about to put the plug back, waved my metal detector over it, and it turns out that there's actually more here. Oh, there it is. Looks like another penny. 1972 penny. So make that three coins in the same hole. Let me just check once more here. Yeah, looks like there's even uh, another one here. Edge here, we got something. Ah, there it is. And we got another dime. 22 cents, that is incredible. Looks like a 1990 dime. That's pretty nice, let me check it once more here. Oh my gosh. We got a fifth item in this hole. Got it in the, the plug. Oh, there it is. Got another penny. So we got 23 cents, two dimes, three pennies in the same hole. That is pretty crazy. All right, guys, so here are the finds for the day. Uh, over here, we just got a little bit of scrap metal. Nothing worth uh, noting. Uh, for coins, we got two quarters, four dimes, a nickel, and four pennies, which if you tally up, makes 99 cents, which is a little unsatisfying. I probably could have found one more penny to make a dollar, but um, from what I can remember, that's about as much coinage as I've ever found um, value-wise. So definitely a good day for coins. And then finally, just this big stick of metal, which I really do not know what it's from, but it was broken at both ends. Um, that's about as much as I know about it. So yeah, I'd say overall pretty happy with the finds. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.